Okay, I'm a little premature with sharing this, but I just can't help it. I'm so excited to give you guys a sneak peek of the Flow Reading Fluency app. And specifically, what I want to show you today is the uh, cold reading and how students will do a cold reading. And then as a teacher, how you will score a cold reading. Um, but like I said, I'm jumping the gun a little bit because we're still perfecting and polishing the whole user experience of this app. So there's a few little things you'll see missing, like some instructions here. Um, but know that it will be absolutely perfect in February, which is when we anticipate um, opening this up for teachers to start using with their students. But anyway, I, again, I couldn't wait. I wanted to show you this is such a game changer for doing cold readings. Um, so no longer do you have to sit one-on-one -on -one with a student to do a cold reading, or do you have to have, you know, enlist volunteers to do it. Your students can all do them at the same time or at any time that's convenient for them. And then you can sit down when you have the time and score them. And by the way, scoring them now is going to be so effortless and easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at what a cold reading, the cold reading interface looks like for students. So right now I'm logged in as a student, and this is what a student would see when they get to a brand new passage. So they'll have a start recording button here. They have this text highlighting option that they can always uh, disable. I prefer to have it on. I think it's important because as you'll see, when they click start recording, all this text is going to appear. And because this reading is all being uh, done on a screen, students can't use their traditional tracking tools like their fingers or bookmarks to track the text. So always keep that highlighting on. But if you have students who prefer not to use it, it is something you can disable. So what I'm going to show you now is how a student would perform a cold reading. So I will click start recording and then I will read the passage and when I'm finished I will cl click stop recording. Different parts of earth have different weather, plants, and animals. These are called biomes. Deserts and Very few people live in the taiga. Would you like to go there? Okay, so the student will click finish recording and then their recording will process and in just a moment, the student will have access to it. Now that actually, that process you just saw of loading was pretty slow because just to let you know, this is on a test server. It's not on the actual server. So it's a really fast process when you start using the um, complete app. So here the student can see their recording. You'll see that it is um, something that they, uh, depending on how long it is, they might have to use this little uh, bar to, if they want to skip, but to see the, the entire sound wave. Um, but they can press play and listen to it. But here's what I love. Students get instant feedback after performing a cold reading. The system automatically uses the time of the recording um, and the number of words in each passage to calculate, if you scroll down, a preliminary cold reading score. So students can instantly see an approximation of what their cold reading score was. Now, this isn't a completely perfect score. In fact, if you hover over it, you'll see that it says words per minute and not words correct per minute. It will say words correct per minute when the teacher goes in and actually scores the passage. But it's nice because the, the student instantly gets feedback, knows what his or her approximate goal is as far as the hot reading, um, and can see what uh, he or she, as far as, you know, needing to do when they're, when you'll see the practice session, what the practice sessions will look like as well, because it does the same thing for the practice sessions. Now, what I'm going to do is log on as a teacher and then show you how teachers will score this passage.
All right, so now I'm logged in as a teacher, and this is what we call the scoring interface. This is what you'll see when you're scoring a cold reading or a hot reading. It's very similar. So we have the text here. It's not formatted, and there's a reason why it's not. It'll just be one big paragraph of text. That is so that we can accurately calculate the words per minute and the words correct per minute when we're using this audio tool here. So this is the student's audio file right up here. You can see, you can scroll. Um, it'll nor it will normally be something uh, that's long enough to scroll. So this was an, a minute and 21 second audio clip. And then within this audio player, we have what um, we call audio beginning marker and an audio end marker. If I can scroll there. So there's the audio end marker. Now, as you see me moving this, you'll notice that the field below, the numbers right here, are also moving. So there's two ways to control these audio um, beginning and end markers. Um, you can type in here. So let's say we want to start scoring the passage after 10 seconds of reading. And let's say we want to um, score a minute. So we would put 70 here. Um, now, I will tell you, you can score any segment of the reading that your student did, or you can score the entire passage. It's up to you. Um, I recommend scoring at least a minute, but you can score 30 seconds or 45 seconds, but it's nice to have students uh, give them an opportunity to read for at least a minute. It gets them, they have, you know, established a pattern and, and kind of a rhythm. They're in the flow, I guess you could say. Um, but again, you can score the entire minute and 21 seconds if you wanted as well. Now, if there's a little dead air at the beginning of the um, recording, then you could crop that out too by just moving this beginning um, marker here. Now what you do is once you have your audio uh, beginning and end markers selected, then you're going to match up your text beginning and end markers. So the way you do that is you'll just click here on the plate uh, to and press play and listen for the first word that's read. Examples of body examples so examples is right here i want to match up this beginning audio marker with this so you click on it and you'll click on start marker and you'll see that it's highlighted in gray then you're going to scroll all the way over here to your end marker and we need to do the same thing we need to figure out what the last word is that is read now if the recording ends in the middle of a word then just do the word before that so I'll put my thing my um, audio um, play bar here and we'll press play and listen eagles and hawks examples hawks. of biome Hawks was the last word. So we're going to find Hawks. Here it is. And we're going to mark the end marker. Now you can see that this section is grayed out. That means that for this audio segment, we are scoring from here to here. And you could already see the words um, per minute has changed a little bit um, from the initial preliminary score that the student got. Now what we can do is go back here and listen and score as we listen. Examples of biomes. Another biome is cold forests, which are called the taiga. The taiga stretches across the northern part of the northern hemisphere. Now, if I were to make a mistake, and I probably should have made a mistake early here, um, as you're, I'm gonna pretend that I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pick a word. It might not be a mistake, but just to, so you can see how you will um, score the error. So I'll press play and then um, I will select a word and pretend as if it's been read, uh, misread. Huge forests grow for many hundreds. So when I click on the word hundreds, then I have this drop down menu. Let's say I uh, mispronounced hundreds. So we will classify it and you'll see the error will populate here and you'll see that the error was subtracted. So instead of 128 words per minute, we now have 127 words correct per minute. And you, the audio automatically pauses. So you'll be able to just press play and continue on scoring of miles. The taiga has long, cold, windy winters. Summers are short, wet, and mild. Fewer kinds of plants 
Okay, I'll pretend like I have another error here. You can classify the errors at a dropped ending, a hesitation, a, a mispronunciation, omission, substitution, <laughs> transposition, uh, repeated error, or self-correction. Now let's mark it as a self-correction. Self-corrections self do not count, so it'll still score it here, but it will not deduct it. So it'll still give you a record um, of the error. And then if you press play, it, the audio will continue where you marked your last error. It's grow there, then in warmer places. Plants do not have many warm months. In so you will, once you've finished listening and, do, and marking all of your errors, um, this will all change according to your scoring. And then you'll just scroll down right here and you click Update Passage. And when you update the passage, that student's cold score, if you remember, it used to be, I think, forgot what it was when he got his automatic cold score. Was it 125? Um, whatever your manual scoring is of that cold score will overwrite it. So this will be the accurate cold score of words correct per minute that you calculate using the interface. So anyway, I just wanted to show you, I am so excited. This is just a tiny little glimpse of the program, um, but I felt like I just couldn't keep it to myself anymore and I wanted you to see what you were in for.